Faith. It's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Good. It's the... Wait. Hold up. What is good? Well, to know what good is, we have to go back to the garden when God created everything and saw it as good. But when I look at the world today, I cease to see good. The world tells me to just live my truth, but that's not good enough. Don't stoop me down to that level. Anything apart from God cannot be good. So what is good? This is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. What up, happy people? A couple weeks ago, God dropped into my spirit a question that led to a revelation. But before I get too far into it, I would ask real quick, you go down, like this video, share it out with people. All it does is it promotes this video and our channel for the farthrance of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But let's get into this. About three weeks ago, I was listening to a lecture on C.S. Lewis, on his life, and on your morals and principles and your values. What is right? What is wrong? That's an age-old question, but after listening to it, I think that one out of these three things is going on in the world right now. One, people have never seen a Bible before. Two, people are dumb. Or three, I'm onto something. So I'd have to agree with myself on all three. Yeah, people are dumb. Two, I am right. And three, you need to keep watching this message. Okay, come on. See, us as Christians have not been living kingdom-minded lives. But I'm troubled and I'm worried, not only for my generation, but for the world that we are living in and the times that we find ourselves in. Like, Jesus is coming back. I don't know if you just just don't want to see that or if you just don't want to believe it, but Jesus is coming back. But this question I had, I couldn't get off my mind, so I texted three of my friends and asked them this question that I would like to ask you watching today. What is good? No, no, really. Because I know it seems simple at first, but the more you get to thinking, the more complicated it gets. Like, the more you think the more you're unsure about it. What is good? I want to paint to you this picture so that you can understand what I'm saying today. I really, I need you to understand where I'm coming from. Like I said, I texted three of my friends, but they are living vastly different styles of life. And the answers I got were really interesting, but I realized something through them. Good is objective. Hear me when I say this, good is objective. It's objective to your morals and principles. It's objective to the way that you grew up, to how you grew up, to your family and your parents and the way that you were raised. All of those details factor in to how we perceive good, how we perceive life. Therefore, our morals, what we stand for, it's objective yeah, but it's also learned. Now, many of you watching know my baby sister, Myra, right? She's two months old. Actually, by the time this video comes out, she'll be three months old. But right now, if we started speaking Chinese to her, she would learn Chinese while having no regulation at all of English. And I wonder, is it the same with God? Because if good is learned, then how is one supposed to know the difference between good and evil? Especially if they haven't read the Word of God, you could teach them that evil is good and that good is evil, and they wouldn't know any better. You see, Isaiah says it like this, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. I'm afraid that that's what we've done today. We have replaced the meaning and the value and the principle of what good means and what evil means. But how are we supposed to know what is good? How are we supposed to know what is evil? When, when 
thousands and millions and billions of people are being lied to on a daily basis. We are being told to live our truth when we don't even know what the truth is. I could get carried away, but I think for someone out there who always gets lied to, who never has the upper hand, who always gets taken advantage of, who has never read the Word of God, what then does a person like that stand for? You'd think righteousness, doing right. but. The problem with that is right is the same as good, it's subjective, and that doesn't get me anywhere. So here's what I'm asking, what is good? What is evil? And who says so? Why do they say that? And those three letters will jack you up, I'm telling you that. A Y is, uh, come on, God. I mean, okay, back on topic. Unlike faith, which is the substance of things hoped for in the evidence of things unseen, there is no clear definition to what good is. You know, I tried looking up Google and, look, you know, I tried looking at the stuff and there's no clear black and white definition to what good means, but when I asked Google, this is one of the definitions. Good is what is morally right righteousness, or doing right. But the problem with that, you see, is if someone abuses a puppy's tail by setting it on fire, I could stand over here and say, well, you know, I don't think that that's entirely right, but it's not evil. It's okay. But on your side, you could say, no, that is tremendously evil, and, and the world says that we just have to agree to disagree, because we're both living our own truths. But the problem is, is that your truth is only subjective to yourself. Therefore, there is absolutely no standard, there is no playing field of what truth is, other than being objective to yourself and the circumstances of your life and how you chose to live your life in the family that you were born in, and all that really is stuff that I can't control. And that sounds absolutely pointless to me. It's so dumb. I'm not happy. You can let them feel excluded, but don't you dare tell me to live my truth. Better yet, don't go out and live yours because your truth is wrong. I don't know why this makes me so mad. Maybe because it makes God mad. But this makes me want to go and flip some tables over. There's a reason I've been doing this series for five weeks and I see absolutely no sign of stopping. God keeps pouring into me. He keeps speaking to me. The kingdom message. I'm trying to teach you a kingdom principle today. What is good? What is evil? I learned something that day I watched that lecture. We had these incredibly, incredibly smart scholars and teachers and doctors and lawyers. We have people that are asking things that I've never thought to ask, and I'm cool with that. But as soon as you start saying things like, well, just leave your own truth. Okay, we got a problem. Then. I don't understand it. I don't understand why nobody talks about this. But you're here for a reason. You're here to learn a kingdom principle. You're here to understand this. And whether it's law, government, parents, there has to be some source that all people could agree upon to be good, and something that all people could agree upon to be evil. But if you have no transcendent moral source to say what it is, then it's just you live your truth and I live mine, and everybody makes Zayden mad. Well, just live your truth. No, screw your truth. Your truth is wrong. Why would I want to listen to my flesh that is sinful, that is full of sinful desires when I have the word of a living God written on my heart? Come on, somebody. I've been so, so blessed that from a very young age, I mean, I've been a Christian since I was five. I've known and I've understood God. Every day I learn more about him. Every day he humbles me and shows me that I am nothing compared to him and his grace. But I've known him for a really long time and I'm blessed, blessed because of that. My morals are grafted upon the truth of God's word. Upon the truth of a God that knows far beyond what I ever could. When you get it, you get it and I got it. 
I don't need help understanding your stupidity. Don't stoop me down to that level. I am far greater than that because I know the truth of the good news, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Listen to me now. The world says that over time we will learn and understand truth and the ways of, of the world, I guess. And for that reason, no person can be judged for what they think or po what for what they think or believe to be good. And that goes against almost every law and principle of the Bible. If that's true, then when Eve ate the fruit, she thought that that would make her good. So does that mean it was? Does that mean it was good? Obviously not. See, we've had this battle over good and evil ever since the world was created. Everybody always blames Adam and Eve for the downfall of humankind, but I think if we were in their same position, we would have done the same thing. You see, Adam and Eve were actually created to be good. But one day the devil came asking them a question that he asks you every single day you wake up on this earth. You can go through and read it all in Genesis chapter 3. But the devil lied to them. He lies to you on a daily basis. You know what? He says you can choose God or you can choose the world. You can choose God or you can choose your evil nature and what comes easy to you and what's natural and what you've always done. It's up to you. What they do? They ate the fruit. They thought that if they ate the fruit, they would be just like God, understanding both good and evil. Read it for yourself, it's in the Word. It says understanding both good and evil. It is in the Word of God. And that tells me that only God is good. No, 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 you gotta catch that. Go get a paper, go get the, the apps out on your phone. You gotta write this down. Only God is good. The Bible also says that we were created in the image of God. Therefore, just like Adam and Eve, we were created to be good. We were created to be holy. We were created to live in righteousness. Not only in this story does Adam and Eve find out that there actually is good and evil, but unlike what that dirty little devil promised them, it did not give them God's power. It did not give them God's authority. It did not give them God's wisdom. It did not give them God's ability to love others. We actually weren't even supposed to have all of this knowledge that we have today. All this knowledge and information. I'm not saying that God was trying to hold anything back. No, no, no. That's what the devil tried to say. But what I'm saying is we really weren't supposed to know what good and evil is. We were supposed to just live our life worshiping and adoring God. But they committed the first sin in history. And could you just imagine if we didn't have this issue? Could you just imagine if this didn't have to be the video I was making, and if I was making why we don't eat from that tree video? Like, could you imagine the world that we lived in if it wasn't for that? Instead, now each and every person that is born into this world is born with a sin problem, an evil nature. We are separated from God. If God is over here, we are over there. There, we cannot be with God because God is so holy and He is so pure and He is so good. We cannot exist with Him. Like if God left today, this Sunday, there would be no such thing as good or goodness. But through this process of sending His only Son to die for a reason that I truly cannot comprehend, you know what? God showed us grace. God showed us mercy. God did it again for our lives. He made us right in His sight, otherwise known as righteousness. We can be right in the eyes of God. Now we can become citizens of the kingdom of heaven. Not because of what we've done. Not because of what our works. No, 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 no. If it was based off that, guess what? You'd be dead. No, really. Look at what the Bible says. The Bible says that the penalty for sin is death, but because God loves us so much, He sent His one and only Son to die a death that nobody else could die. No other God shed His blood for you, but mine did. He did all of that so that sinners just as you and I could be saved, could live in righteousness, could be good. I'm closing. 
but before I go, I gotta tell you this. I don't know what good is. All I know is that God is good. I know that this word is good. This word is actually called the good news, if you didn't know that already. This is the good news, and this word applies to every single one of you watching, no matter your age, no matter your ethnicity, no matter your shape, no matter your color, no matter your size. This word is for you out there, the principles and purpose and power of this word. The blood of Jesus applies to you today. What is good? A easier way to answer that question is anything apart from God is not good. It cannot be good without God. That sounded good. It cannot be good without God. So then by what basis are we supposed to live our lives? Well, the psalmist said, Teach me your truth, O God. Yeah, not my truth, but your truth, God. For Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are worthy. Jesus, you are wonderful. This is the good news, and this is how I am going to live my life. Thank you for watching Titlity Catch and Release. This is the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you had questions coming into this video, I pray that God just answered it. And if you still have questions, go on Instagram, shoot me a DM. We can talk about it. But I believe that God is good. I believe that His Word is good. And I believe that anything without God cannot be good because God was originally good. God created us in His image to be good like Him. But because of sin, that's torn down. We can't have that anymore. So if there's anybody out there watching that wants that righteousness, that wants to be good again, I'm going to pray for you. God, I pray for that one person watching right now. God, I pray that they know that you are good. God, I pray that you just come and that you encounter them as never before. So, for all you out there watching, just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I want to be good again. I want to live like you. I realize that I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I've done wrong, and I need forgiveness. Jesus, I believe that you died a gruesome death. And now because of that, not only are you still dead, but you rose and you conquered it all for me and my sin. In Jesus' name I believe, and I receive. Amen. I believe that God is doing great things today. He is good, He is worthy, and He is right. He is righteousness. Don't go out and live your truth, but live the truth of a holy God. Take care, God bless, and we are gone. Hi guys, I am Baby Myra.